Welcome back to our tech. Today we're going to review the MagicFit digital AC voltmeter indicator. These were ordered from banggood.com. Really cool looking AC voltmeters that fit into your electrical boxes or supply lines as indicators. They come in many colors. And if you have three phase power supply, you will need three of them, red, blue, and yellow. Unfortunately, I only have two of these because the yellow was out of stock when I created this video. Right? And they come in very simple packaging. In fact, no packaging at all, just these plastic covers. And you know, these were much bigger than expected. And the build quality and finish was really, really nice. So just remember, these can take readings from 100 volts to 500 volts AC. Let me quickly connect these to an electricity uh, source. Please remember, if you're not sure of how these connections work or how AC works, it's better to get an electrician. So I'm loosening these screws uh, so that you, you can temporarily insert these wires and I can power them up. So once you're sure of the connections, just make sure that you're not in contact with the live wire or the neutral wire. And then let's put these things on. Okay, I'm taking no chances. I'm keeping it far away and I'm putting it on. There you go. So it's a nice little indicator. It shows the voltage on top and it just also says voltage AC. Thing looks pretty cool right and they're really handy I mean you can actually get a real-time reading of what voltage is running on those lines so we also have the blue one which has similar build quality finish everything is the same it's just that it's a blue colored one so once you connect it thoroughly just make sure you know you Keep your hands at a safe distance from the wires and the blue colored indicator looks amazing too. So let's go ahead and connect this thoroughly. So when you get one of these things on your hand, there's, there's a small cap at the back which you need to knock off. And once you do that, you're going to slip in those wires through this plastic cap and then tighten those screws there. And once you do that, you can uh, put the whole thing in, in a board, you know, the supply board, which has uh, some sort of a provision for this. And you just put this plastic nut from the back. And then once the wires are in, just put this cap and just click it tight. That's it. So once you connect the wires thoroughly through the plastic cap, it should look something like this. You can act actually add an extra bit of tape towards the sides for extra safety, just in case you want them. Uh, what I've done now is connected both the red and blue indicators to the same line. And weirdly enough, the voltages are different. One is showing 213, one is showing 211. I really don't know why. But nevertheless, uh, they're very close to each other, the readings. So what I'm going to do now is fix them on to the main electrical supply board. Please be careful, switch off everything before you kind of touch the terminals. The wiring can get pretty messy in your supply and I would recommend if you don't know how to do this, get an electrician, he can do it for you in a few minutes. So I had uh, the previous indicators already here, I knocked them off. Again the yellow one is the older one which is just a display. And these two are the ones which have the uh, voltmeter as well. So the wiring is really messy. Like I said, uh, if you have colored wires, it makes it easier for you to identify them. Anyway, these things are snug fit and I'm gonna go ahead and power these on. So that's how they look on the board. So if you want a quick reading as to what is your current voltage, um, maybe there's a problem with one of the lines, this makes it that much easier for you to detect. So I just wish I had the yellow, which I don't. They look so bright even in broad daylight. And even in the night, again, it's really brilliant. The display is so clear. I know the camera is not doing justice to that, but 
you can actually see these numbers really clearly. So that's my short review on the digital voltmeter indicator. I hope you liked the video. Please do leave your comments if you have any questions, doubts or queries. Thank you so much for watching guys. And uh, do subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.